Well, look what happened and listen to what happened in just 120 days because North American Aviation said they didn't want to build somebody else's airplane and they said, give me 120 days and we'll build you a new airplane. They did, and this was the airplane that came out of that very, very bold statement. Gentlemen, direct your eyes right as Swamp Fox, the legendary P-51 Mustang, is inbound. Listen to the song all its own. As the P-51 pulls up into the big Barnstormers loop, and you'll get a good look as the aircraft comes down out of the sun, looking to get the jump on NAS Key West. It's an amazing... There's the noise, Rob. That's the one you were looking for. <laughs> it was. And that's the sound of what? That is actually the sound of the gun ports on the side of the aircraft. It's been said to me that the gun ports that actually bump out from the leading edge of the wing create a howl. And that howl there was feared by the enemy. If they heard that coming, that bad things were about to happen. Six 50 caliber machine guns on that. And it, and it, and it was so, so successful as time went on in the war when they figured out how to, how to add drop tanks, which were made from kind of a paper mache, a non-strategic material, they could extend the range and endurance of the P-51 Mustang to not only support and, and provide protection or cover for the bombers that were flying from bases in Europe to targets in Germany and other Axis held countries, but they could stay aloft long enough to protect them on the way back and that greatly increased the survivability. Absolutely. It was about a 750 mile range and those drop tanks enabled almost double the range for this particular aircraft. Now keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, it's 12 cylinders. They are liquid cooled. It's got a radiator like we have <laughs> in our cars, right? Exactly, yeah. but it's similar in that regard because it's liquid cooled. However, that was also seen as a downside. If the aircraft was utilized down low in some sort of support role or ground attack role, they was very susceptible to ground fire. So you had to be very careful in a certain respect that you didn't puncture a radiator. Now this particular aircraft is quite unique in that it was restored in just about 10 years ago. RC giving you a great look of the bottom side of the aircraft. Now, we talked a little earlier, the name of the aircraft is Swamp Fox. And and that's significant. It is? Why? Why well, is that hurting? that Lieutenant Colonel Will Ford, United States Air Force, now retired, and of course gone as well, is grew up in the Carolinas. He was flying and fighting out of England, and well, Lieutenant Ford thought it would be great to name his plane after a famous American revolutionary hero out of South Carolina. That was Colonel Francis Marion. Marion was hated by the British, they gave him the moniker Swamp Fox. That's the, cool. The name is emblazoned on the side of the aircraft. Two left aileron rolls by the Swamp Fox. It's amazing that there were 15,000 of these airplanes, a sort of, around 15,600 is what the last number I heard. But what I didn't know until recently was that they were considered expendable. Very much so. They would fly, they would give 200 hours on an engine, yep. and then trash the engine, put a new one on, because they ran them so hard. Yep. And how many hours on the airplane before they put it to bed and trashed it? And It and wasn't much more. If you think about it, they probably put two or three engine spares on it, and then the aircraft was essentially pushed off for surplus. There's the howl once again. Barnstormers, barrel, roll. But it had this, this incredible wing design called laminar flow, very fast wing. Yep. And when, when, as you said, the, 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 when the, the British engineers paired up that Merlin engine with this airframe, the Mustang as we know it has made... Bring it in the banana pass.
driving at a speed, make sure that we're quiet when the aircraft comes by because it makes a song. We're actually a stepping stone, advanced trainer T6, into that of the P-51. <laughs> Hey, one more time, ladies and gentlemen, get those cameras up if you want to catch it. And I believe RT is going to go strafe the tower. Of course, RT wishes to thank NAS Key West for allowing the P-51 Mustang to be here and heard at the Southernmost Air Show. Their family very much dedicated to the greatest generation and that that came from we actually make a round wing and the pressure comes out the tail of the aircraft much quicker than it goes in they called that the meredith effect it actually gave them some speed kurt <laughs> strump thank you very much for being here with rt i sure appreciate it we've got stuff coming in from the right right now but thanks for coming up today you bet rob thanks so much for having us today you bet sir ladies and gentlemen a nice round of applause for rt dixon and Herc strump uh, from the uh, p-51 mustang known as swamp fox Pretty cool stuff if you ask me. Now.